Hello everyone, I'm Daytime and this is my video. I have no idea what gameplay is going to be in the background. I'm doing this the other way around like I do it usually. Usually I would put my gameplay into the program I use and it would have to take like 30 minutes to be ready to be cut down and then I would cut it down and make it take out all the boring parts and stuff and then I would make the commentary as long as the gameplay is. But now I need to do the gameplay, now do the commentary before the gameplay because my friend's on his way over and I can do the cutting down the gameplay while he's here but I can't do the calm. So yeah. Today I'm going to talk about, tell you a story, when my brother got <laughs> run over by a forklift. He didn't get his whole body run over, it, it ran over his ankle, and yeah. Let's just start what we were doing. Well, me and my friends, we were kind of idiots when we were kids. We would do things we were not supposed to be doing. And there was this old ship in Hapnafjord where I would live, where I lived, and it was abandoned. It was red, and it's it's been there for years, it was old, rusty, and just disgusting and we would always go there just to chill just to, i don't know run around the ship and stuff just have fun and like we had no idea who owned it or anything we were probably trespassing but we didn't really th like think about it because it had been there for years no one really cared except the police so the police came there they tell us to go away they didn't like take us or anything or charge us or anything or anything stupid they just tell told us to get off the ship and go away because it's dangerous and you sh we shouldn't really been doing that but but yeah, so we went on with our day, with our night. It was dark outside. It was during the evening, and there was me, uh, my brother, and three of my friends. And um, yeah, and we were walking, and we we're walking into this like fish. Uh, what do you call it? Like a fish factory. Yeah, we we're walking walking into like this fish factory. Well, behind the fish factory, and we see a forklift. And a forklift should be on pallets with like a cover over it, and definitely not with the keys in it. If you have a company and you have forklifts outside and you leave the keys in it, stop it. You're going to ruin someone's life or lack or whatever because kids are idiots. This was when I was like 15 and I'm 20 now. Um, and yeah, so we go there and one of my friends decides to go on the forklift and just start it. And I'm just sitting there. I'm just sitting there like I didn't really care if they were doing it. I wasn't really trying to be a part of it. Like I didn't want to drive it. I didn't want to touch the forklift, but... He wanted to do, and I didn't stop him. But two, of, but the other two friends, they were like, "Nah, we're not gonna be a part of this. I'm gonna, we're gonna leave." And me and my brother, well, they didn't really leave. They just went like around the corner, and they just didn't want to watch stuff that was going on. So then my brother, the forklift is like up, up against a wall, and my brother, for some reason, is walking there. He was checking something on the forklift or something, and he's walking like, he's just squeezing himself between the forklift and the wall. And he tells my friend, do not do anything, don't touch anything, don't touch any button, don't touch any pedal, don't do anything. And I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm walking here, don't touch anything, because like, you don't know what, when you're 15 or 16, you don't know, your first time you're driving a forklift, like he didn't really drive it, he just sat in it and started it. But the first time, you don't know what the like buttons do and stuff, you don't know what's, what it's going to move. So, and he pressed something, and I all I hear is just... Dude, see the forklift go up a bit, like it's going over a rock, and then I just hear my little brother scream so loud. It was, he screamed so loud, and I came over trying to help him, like he's, we sat him down on a bunch of pallets, and we just called the cops, like what she, we called that ambulance and stuff, because he was screaming so loud, and the police came, and it's the same damn cops, <laughs> and Instead of helping my brother, they just start telling me that I'm an idiot. <laughs> that we're idiots for doing this shit. And we know we're idiots. Like, And, yeah, and he was just screaming, crying. They had to cut his new pants, which was kind of shitty because mom just bought them. And they had to cut his pants, cut his shoes, and took him to the hospital. And his leg broke in three places. Um, his leg broke in three places, and now he has... Uh, his leg is like two inches longer than the other one. And he's had a limp, like, since, not really a limp, but he walks pretty weird. He was an Icelandic champion as a goalie. He was an Icelandic champion as a goalie. He had to stop doing Icelandic champion in handball. Icelandic champion as a goalie in handball. He was really good once he was puking and t defending the goal. I'll tell you that story some other time. But, yeah, I might, I might do a dual come with him if he wants to. He used to be a part of this Call of Duty thing. He was a sniper. He's pretty good. I, he probably ha still has a lot of clips. So let me know if you want to see that. Um, I'll just ask him. I have never talked to him about that. But if you want to see that, let me know. So I hope you liked this video. Then press the like button. If you're new, subscribe. And I hope you all have a really good day.